everyone, I'm Russell Kastriva, the Aftermarket Services Manager for MGS Machine. And today we're going to show you some quick tips on how to keep your machinery up and running or to get it back up and running after having some vacuum or pick issues. Now we already covered how vacuum cups can have an effect on your product and we're going to check the rest of the vacuum system today. So some of the issues you may experience that we've talked about is you may be picking your product out of the magazine and it either doesn't pick or it picks partway and it falls off or while the arms are carrying down, the, the product falls off, or when you even go to place, the product places at an angle. These are all things that could be related to the vacuum system. We covered some of them in our vacuum cup section. You can go and look at that video for that. But today we're gonna to discuss the vacuum system itself. So, all right, this particular machine runs a PIAB vacuum generator, which uses air pressure to create your vacuum. So one of the other things we need to do is make sure that there is appropriate air pressure going to the vacuum generator. But in general, from a vacuum system standpoint, we want to make sure that the vacuum filter is clean. That is right here. This is very easy to replace or check. It comes off that easily. So if that's dirty or clogged in other fashions, you will have a poor vacuum and your machine will work, but it will work inconsistently. So this is one of the easiest things you can replace and literally just stick it back in there, a new clean one, put the cover back on, tighten the cover up, and you're done. So we've covered the PIA vacuum generation system using air pressure. Now we have the vector style one, which is a vacuum pump using electricity to generate your vacuum. You can see it's just a bigger, it's a bigger system, but it uses the exact same filter as the PIA. So changing the filter, checking the filter, checking your vacuum lines, all those kinds of things are the exact same thing. It's just attached in a different spot on the machine down here on the bottom. One of the other things we're gonna check is we're gonna follow the vacuum line. If you follow that vacuum line, you can see it comes to this valve. From this valve, there's a tiny little line right here. This line runs all the way up to the vacuum cups. We want to make sure that there's nothing in either one of the big line or the little lines. Make sure that the lines aren't pinched and that they uh, aren't kinked over. So we're just going to follow that line all the way up to the vacuum cups and make sure that it's tight all the way at the vacuum cups too. Those are simple things you can check when you're having pick or place problems on your machine to try and get it back up and running and running smoothly on a consistent basis. Once again, my name is Russell Kastriba. I'm the Aftermarket Services Manager for MGS Machine. I just want to say thank you for your business. And if you're having any issues, please do not be afraid to give us a call. We're always here to help you. We appreciate everything you do for us.